All right, today's a really big day for me. This came in the mail. My Furic number 12 cup and my gas lens kit. My package just, just got here. And what I want to do is I want to see if this is like a game changer because I can make some pretty like uh, actually like ugly burn up looking welds with this number eight cup. This is all I have, biggest cup I have. I don't even know how to install this really. All I know is all the, all the people that TIG weld on YouTube they all use a big fancy cup like this. None of them use a little cup. So this is a this is a CK number 17 torch. This is like a different style call it. Hopefully it works better. So what I have right here is a Fury number 12 cup. I bought it from the uh, Weldmonger store. I mean, I should know how to do this without instruction. Okay, so that, that thread matches that one, so I'm gonna assume this goes in here. So there goes a little screen in there. And then there goes a little screen in there. Obviously, I don't know what I'm doing. So that's not threaded. This one is threaded. That kind of fits in there nicely. So I'm going to go ahead and take this one off. Oh, yeah, they do. This is the one that matches better. Okay. Snap that on there. Let's put this back in. All right, it came with four O-rings that all look the same and some extra screens. And I ordered this for 332nd tungsten and that fits right through there. Everything's looking good, but I'm thinking that you have to have an O-ring right here and then the glass one slides on like that. That's kind of hard to slide on. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the ceramic one first and save the glass for later. Screw it on there. They only gave me one collet. Put that in there like that. Ooh, and I'm gonna run a bunch of stick out too. All right, I'm gonna turn my machine on real quick. I'm gonna start out by just running with no filler. I'm not gonna purge or nothing. I'm just just gonna test it out real quick. I turn my flow up to to 40 CFH. I can tell you right now that is a game changer. That is seriously a game changer. This is what my typical welds look like. Cooked. I'm gonna go ahead and do a longer one and then I'll do some with filler. Yes, I'm gonna say it, it's work, it works in pretty it's working a lot better than the than the old cup. Now I'm going to try to dab a little bit of filler in there. I like this. Oh, I think I need more post flow to get the color. That's nice. That's the best colors I've ever gotten so far. Okay, so there's no point in me actually doing any welts with the old cup because I got plenty of them and uh, I don't want to have to snap that piece back off and make it looser or break, but this is what I'm used to. This, this, is, this is how I've been welding 
with that cup for the past, uh, I don't even know how long. That's what the welds look like. Every once in a while I could get a little bit decent kind of color, but, but nothing like that. Like I said, I got plenty of them. So, so I got I got one more thing I want to do is I want to weld an actual seam on pipe and not the you know not just on the surface. Bat purging I think actually does help with the front color, but I'm not gonna back purge. I'm just gonna do this real quick and end the video and so far I'm really happy with this cut. You can at least weld an inch at a time and keep the color pretty good. Alright. I'm not the best welder, obviously. You can see how crappy my welds were before. And on this, the fit is really not that good. It has kind of, it's really not that great of a fit up. Look at that tack. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and go for it. Maybe I just weld like the, the better part and call it a day. I'm about to run out of gas anyway. But here we go. I didn't get very far on that one. But the color's good. Just not very comfortable. Alright, I'm only moving about a half inch at a time. I'm just I just can't really you know I'm just not really comfortable like this. Okay, so this might not be the best representation of what the, that gas lens kit can do with that cup because I'm really not that great of a welder. But look at how much I, I improved instantly. I barely pulled it out of the box. Um, let, let's compare this. So this right here is what I used to do with the, little, with the regular factory CK17 torch and a number 7 cup. That's not that's not a seam. That's just on the pipe. You see the you see the differences. Way better color. This one actually looks really good. I added wire to that. Added wire to this. But those two, no wire. And this one, I don't even know what I added or whatever I did. And then look at the look at the butt joint. That's what I'm used to doing. I mean, that's a bad fit, but still kind of cooking the welds. And this is the best colors I've ever gotten on a butt joint. All right, so I think that kit is money well spent. Uh, before I tried everything, I, I ran my gas anywhere from 10 CFH all the way up to 30 uh, with that small cup. Uh, no real differences. I would sometimes I try to go as super fast as possible. Nothing, nothing would would uh. You know, if I welded like maybe a, a very tiny amount with a little cup, I could probably get some decent color. But for the most part, you see my welds uh, having a lot of trouble with it, and that was an instant improvement. You seen I barely put the kit together, and instantly I'm getting better colors. And I didn't back purge that. Like I said, I do think that if you don't back purge it, it, I think it, it dulls your, your outside weld a little bit, but I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, that was $83. I bought it from the Weldmonger store. And yeah, I, I really like that cup. Uh, anyway, if you found this video helpful or entertaining, please like and subscribe to the end.